Hello there. As you might have seen in uh, the title or the thumbnail of the video, in this video, in this video, I'm going to talk about why I'm leaving Dubai and where I am going. Now, this video is not only about this particular topic. You know, I only post about digital marketing courses, programmatic advertising, basically technical stuff. But honestly, it's been like one and a half years and uh, I have so much, so many things to talk about. Now, as most of you might know that I'm usually based in Dubai, I work there. But right now I am somewhere in Himalayas. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm uh, in a place called Kashmir. It's, it's my home here. So I'm here chilling on a vacation because I already quit my job in Dubai and I'm moving somewhere else, which we will talk about in a bit. First of all, I honestly wanted to thank you all because when I look back, like uh, just a year ago, I started my channel. I was thinking about like 2,000 to 3,000 subscribers in the first year. And we are already at 30,000 subscribers in just over a year. And I want you to know that I thank you all. And I honestly don't look at these numbers, subscribe numbers, just as a number that I have 30,000 subscribers. I should have 100,000 subscribers. How I look at it is there are 30,000 people who literally who clicked on the subscribe button because they found any kind of value on my channel. So I, I really thank you all and I am really grateful for um, all of this. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about is why I am leaving Dubai. And the reason for this is because I know a lot of people are looking for uh, from from different countries they are looking to move to Dubai they are looking to move to uh, some other countries now because I have worked in Dubai and I'm going to Europe so it might help you in some way if you are looking for options what options do you have and like based on your priorities what should be a suitable place for you now uh, I'm leaving Dubai the first thing I want to mention here is Dubai is an amazing place UAE as a country is an amazing place in terms of career growth, in terms of safety, in terms of opportunities, in terms of quality of life. And even in my personal case, I mean, I, I'm almost about to, inshallah, get a golden visa, which means that I don't have need to have a job to stay or live in UAE. I can live there, uh, like, in, in a way forever. It's a 10-year visa which renews. So I'm really grateful for UAE, what it has provided me, or in a way like how it helps people to achieve their goals in terms of finances, career options, and a lot of things. But there are, I mean, I'm leaving Dubai. It's mostly because of some personal reasons, which I, I, I will um, discuss with you. The first reason is I have been working on agency side and technology side for almost five to six years now. And uh, now, I mean, I wanted to move to a client side because uh, of a lot of reasons, because as you, some, some of you might already uh, be able to relate to it. Usually when you work on uh, agency side, it's, it's a lot of hustle, it's a lot of work pressure, and it's, it needs a lot of focus and it needs a lot of hard work, which I am ready to do, but then working in this environment for six years and now because I want to focus a little bit more on my uh, YouTube so I, th I have decided that I have to move to client side but it's not just any clients uh, I mean I, it's not just any client side opportunity I would have moved I was looking for a client side I was looking for a company where um, obviously it is technology driven, it is scalable and obviously then the secondary parameters about how the team is, what is their uh, goals for the near future. So the opportunity I got is outside Dubai and uh, I mean the company I'm going to work for, I don't think there is such a company in Dubai which kind of ticks all my uh, checklist. The second reason is, I mean, see uh, Dubai is a place Everyone who comes to Dubai, most of them have this thing in their mind that they're going to stay there for a few years because obviously uh, UAE does not provide citizenship no matter how many years you stay there and they have their reasons for that. Uh, so most of the people, almost everyone in Dubai who works there, they have this thing in mind that we are here for a few years, some for two years, some for five, some for ten years and nobody can stay there forever. I mean, except if you have a lot of investments, if you have a business. Most of the people have to leave some, some, someday. So 
the mentality of people there is usually is we are here for a short duration of time let's hustle as much as possible let's make as much money as possible it's very common to get a message a call after 6 after 7 after working hours from a client or from your colleagues at at this moment of time i i don't like this i want to have a work life balance which obviously like when you research about it it's quite obvious that you get that in europe and within europe there are certain countries where it's even 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 better uh so i am moving to a european country i have got uh an offer i want you to guess about where, where do you think i'm moving which country do you think i'm moving uh and the third reason was i mean i have been working for 7 years now 8 years uh and i have worked in six cities already i mean uh in india i have worked in bangalore delhi pune uh, hyderabad and then i have worked in kuwait i have worked in uh, a lot of other places i worked in dubai and i have worked uh, i can't even recall so and so i i i i like to do this i mean i like to go to different places my uh, my definition of tourism and exploring places is not just going as a tourist and all the time uh, goes into i have early check ins in the hotels i have to reach to airport i have layovers my definition of exploring places is going to a place working there for a while working with the people who live there and you literally get a sense of the life in in, in that particular place so i honestly wanted to i mean i i i wanted to work in europe for a while so and i mean it's a coincidence that i got an opportunity in one of the european countries and overall uh, it it all it, it checked all uh, the boxes for me so that's why i'm leaving dubai and i'm going uh, there plus one more reason i mean the company i'm going for the team they interviewed me for almost overall i would say 5 hours it was a very extensive interview including case studies but i am talking about 5 hours is the time i spoke to the team there during the interview process it was very extensive but it's good in a way because uh, i kind of understood what they wanted uh, in the candidate they were hiring what their expectations are what their uh, goals are and they understood my priorities my skill set everything so it's it's basically more transparent there are no surprises but i mean i have attended a lot of interviews in malaysia i have attended interviews in singapore i have attended interviews in india ua but i i think the professionalism and the kind of interviews they 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 do in uh, european countries is amazing i mean it's it's really really amazing you get to know everything before you join the company about the company about the role and even the people who you you will work with there are literally round uh, interview rounds where you talk to people who you will work with and they understand you as well so there are no surprises so so i mean the professionalism of that company and uh, the way they were talking and the comfort comfort i had with talking to the people in the team it all led me to decide to leave dubai and move to this european country which i want you to guess in in the comments now one more reason that i decided i mean europe and the country i'm moving to was on my radar is because unlike uae if you stay there for a while you can think about settling there you can think about the pr or getting a citizenship which means a lot i mean if you're looking to settle there permanently in terms of benefits you get and uh, the other reason is if you are in any european country you can just go to any other country for example if you are in germany and you can just go to uh, amsterdam you can just go to france over the weekend so this was like a big big uh, point to consider for me personally uh, lastly uh, i'm chilling here for a while i'm fasting i'm hungry but i'm here in uh, kashmir it's amazing i mean it's end of april and i'm still wearing this jacket and i'm still feeling cold it's like 10 degrees today and it's a bit uh, cloudy today but yeah i'm chilling here taking a break for a while maybe in mid june i'll i'll be moving to my next role until then i'll focus on my youtube as well because honestly like i i started liking youtube more i started investing more time on youtube and thank you for all your love and support uh thank you so much i will see you in the next one